Hey lovebugs, so today is a get ready with me. I wanted to do a fun, bold look and really try out these new products that I have. So I went to the makeup show Chicago this past weekend. It was so cool. I got this email from Muse Beauty Pro and you guys know I'm a huge fan of that company of Viseart of Alphonse, of Asum. I've always wanted to try more Asum brushes. I only ever had one Asum brush and that one has quickly become a staple for me. I use it in every tutorial as you guys know. I was really excited <laughs> to go and meet the team and they actually wanted me to stay and get my makeup done with one of their artists and get some one-on-one -on -one time and just get to ask questions and all kinds of stuff so it was a really memorable experience super cool and did like this 80s inspired look with some bold colors and they sent me home with an awesome goodie bag. I didn't really do any shopping for myself. I did pick up some gifts at the makeup show, but I mostly was there to learn and to meet people. I was thrilled and I was not expecting it, but they sent me home with some really cool stuff. So this is a first impressions of all these new brushes and tools and makeup. And it's a full face, get ready with me featuring on the eyes, cheeks, and lips. Once again, the Viseart Grand Pro number two. Thank you, as always, for coming back and joining me as we go on makeup adventures. I've already prepped my lids using the Makeup Forever base for eyes and lips on the eyes. The beautiful Grand Pro 2 by Viseart. I'm going to start with my brand new ASUM W35. Well, I've got one, two little hairs sticking up kind of far. This is called the Large Round Angle eye contour meant to be used with powders and creams. It's made with sable hair and it's meant for contouring large eye areas. So I've got a large version and a mini version, both sable hair. This is the 35 and this one is W36. And go into this beautiful warm brown. Brian from Muse Beauty emailed me and they invited me to go ahead and come to the show and be a model for a look. I got one-on-one -on -one time with one of their pro artists, Jackie. She's actually affiliated with Ket, a brand they sell at Muse. And I got to meet some of the Muse team, a couple of the owners of Muse. It was just magical. The whole experience was absolutely incredible, like insane. So I'm using this brush with a light amount of that metallic shade and sort of pressing it into the crease and lightly sweeping. I'm going to take it and see what it's like to sort of sweep it into the inner area. I've started in this outer, outer half of the crease where the orbital bone socket so that most of the product would land on the outer edge and then now I'm taking whatever is left and kind of dragging it inward. So I learned a lot, you guys. Saw so many new techniques. So I don't know if I said, but Ket does like airbrush makeup. So she, Jackie, used airbrush on my complexion and she used this Grand Pro 2 palette on my eyes as well as on my lips. She also used the Amethyst palette from Viseart on my eyes. It was just such a such a cool experience. 
and Muse was so generous and sent me home with a goodie bag full of brushes and tools and product. One of my best friends got married this past weekend as well and she, since she was in town for her wedding and I spent like the whole week with her, she actually came to the makeup show with me. She's not like a makeup enthusiast like I am, but she came and shopped with me and she actually was the one who got some footage of my time with the Muse family. So that was really neat. Again, I'm just patting and then sort of dragging. This brush is really soft. It also has really good density and it doesn't give too much. Like it has a stiffness to it that makes it really easy to work with. I'm loving the angle of the brush. It makes it very easy to work with. I have all my notes here that I'm consulting on each of the items that they gave me. So the S33 is another natural bristle hair brush, goat hair. This one is great for a sheer application and for blending in that windshield wiper motions. I'm just blending the upper edge of the shadow I just laid down. With the goat hair brushes, these are meant for powder, whereas a lot of these other ones, like the sable hair one that I just used, can be used with both creams and powders. You know what? I should have used my brand new T38 to lay down the primer that I used earlier. But that's okay, I'll use it for something else. Oh my gosh, it's so soft, I don't wanna stop using it. It's a really nice brush. The W36, which like I said, was a small version of the 35. Good for contouring small areas of the eye. Has a little bit more give than this guy because it's not as dense. I wanna create a darkness right across the crease. It's sort of like a cut crease. A little different. I'm thinking I want to use this one here. So again, this is a sable hairbrush that can be used with creams or powders. I'm gonna sculpt that crease. I kind of want it to be fun and dramatic. So I'm dragging it all the way across like so. So I didn't really buy anything for myself at the makeup show. I have been trying to save money so <laughs> I wasn't there to shop really, just learn and watch demos and I saw a really cool demo by the artist who actually did my face, Jackie. She did a tattoo cover up demo using airbrush. Every time they've got tattoo cover up demos at these shows I always try and go so I've seen quite a few. <laughs> but they fascinate me. Such a cool skill to have. I'm going back in with my ASEM S33 goat hair brush with the first shade that we used just to blend lightly. I want that sheer application along the top edge. It was really neat. So you color correct, cover, and then you actually like bring the life back into the skin. She called it hemoglobin, which I guess, I don't know if that's the name of the product or if it's just trying to mimic hemoglobin, but there was um, two products, hemoglobin 1 and hemoglobin 2 or something like that, and she used it, and once she used that in sort of like this, this squiggly pattern, it really made the skin look like skin again and not zombie skin, as she called it. So I'm taking the ASEM T38, which like I said before, they recommend for like priming the lids. You can use this with cream. No, 38, what am I doing with my life? It's made out of Taclon fiber, vegan, and it's called the, a medium round flat angle brush. I'm great with powders and creams. So I'm gonna take this and just sweep along the top edge to clean up. I'm gonna use a flat brush. This is one that I already had too. This is the W21 ASEM brush. It's my favorite flat brush. I use it all the time. 
I think I want to go with this beautiful emerald green right here. I might go ahead and grab a little bit of the ASIM mixing medium, but first I'm going to lay it down dry without it and see how it goes. I'm going to have this fade into a lighter color, but I'm going to pat this all over the lid from the inner corner all the way out. That shade is really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of the mixing medium. Just a drop, one single drop, and I'm going to soak it up with my brush. And I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's beautiful duochrome and pat that right onto the center of the lid right on top. I'm going to take a little bit of this lime green chartreuse and mix a dash of that in to the inner third as well just to give it a little bit more dimension and interest and then I think on this outer third I'm thinking like a bluish tone what do you think S31 small round eye contour brush perfect with powder it's a goat hair brush perfect for sheer application and precision shading so that's perfect for my needs because I want to be kind of precise with it on the outer edge and this guy right here is pretty intense so I don't want to cover the green that I already laid down I just want to have a sheer layer over and kind of give the shadow more dimension without completely covering the green this was a trick that I learned from Jackie just use the edge of the wipe I'm gonna go ahead and go into this sort of gunmetal glittery shade over here this guy is going to lay down right at the lower lash line but a little bit lower to open up the eyes so a little bit lower just underneath right along the center of the lower lash line then we're gonna have like a flicked wing kind of the other way just a little bit just from here, do you see how I didn't connect it? So I'm thinking I'm going to go like this. Just drag it out. Let's just take the W36, the small contour brush, and go back in with a little bit of the mixing medium and intensify just a dash. Where we first laid down the crease work, right along here. How do you guys feel about all shimmer looks? I love it. I've never shined away. Shined? I've never shied away from shine. So I'm going to pull out another cool product to throw this look like over the top. The Ruby May Winter Wonderland Glitter. Beautiful, right? I think that they're so vibrant and cool. So with these, I definitely, I've tested this, I definitely need glitter glue. Like they claim they can wear without glitter glue. Nah, nah man, nah, not for me. So with glitter glue, I think it looks really good. I'm going to use my eye candy and go into this shade right here. I'm not trying to cover what we've got going on. Just give it a little extra sparkle. Now with my Milani Supreme Cole Kajal Eyeliner, I'm going to intensify the lower lash line and give myself a base for my wings. So I'm going to put this on the lower lash line, leaving space 
put a lighter shade to open up the eyes. I'm tie lining up on top. And then when we work this in the upper lash line as a base for our wing. With my MAC Technical Liner in Sourpuss, I'm going to put this in the waterline. I'm going to go ahead and take my Stila Stay All Day Liner. This one is like the micro tip one. And I'm going to give myself a nice wing. I'm going to take a little bit of the liquid liner and also give myself a clean lower lash line too. S31. I'm going to use this little guy over here as an inner corner highlight. I'm going to pop that on. I'm actually super excited because there's another brush here that I was hoping to see in person. It's their mascara fan brush. I saw Alphonse use it once and I just was like, that looks like the best. I think it was Alphonse or maybe it was one of the, the Grand Pro demos. Okay, so with this little guy, this is the Asum T11, perfect for creams and gels. It has Taclon fiber and nylon base so that it gives a little bit of stiffness and control. Perfect for blending falsies in with your natural hair, applying mascara, perfect for the lower lash line, which is what I'm extra excited to try. That does look really nice. I don't see a single clump. That brush really gave me a very natural, wispy lash. Perfect for pros. So for foundation, I'm gonna apply it with my brand new ASIM Pro Finishing Sponge. It's a wedge-shaped sponge, perfect for blending and for application. I call it a suede-like texture. It's latex-free and washable, reusable. You can use it with liquids, creams, and powders. So we'll try this guy out. I'm going to use my favorite, the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. It's got two flat sides, a really nice round edge, and a pointed edge. We use the pointed edge to get right around the eye. Well, I also quickly filled in my brows with a pencil. The odd shape really does help you get into the different planes of the face, the different nooks and crannies. It's not quite as soft as something like the Beauty Blender. I'm trying this sponge out dry. I'm not sure. They didn't really give me instructions on whether or not you can or should use it wet, but my feeling is that it is multi-purpose and you can use it in different ways. Because of the flat edge and the sharp corner, I do find myself going back over areas that have like a line from application with the butt of the sponge that's nice and round. Okay, with my large W35 brush. I'm going to softly go over the edges and I'm so excited to finally try this. This is the Ket Cosmetics Fix Cream Makeup. This is another product that they gave me in the shade R3. She said it's the perfect contour shade for fair skin. Day of, I believe she used this in a powder version thought and it was a beautiful contour shade so I'm going to try this cream one today. She said the color is a little bit different if I understood correctly but I'm gonna take my ASUM T38 perfect with cream products and I'm going to lightly contour my nose.
Uh, I knew this brush would be the perfect nose contour brush. That is just gorgeous. The powder version of the R3, I think, she said was a little bit grayer. This one's a little bit redder, but I think it does really contour beautifully. Look at that. I normally don't contour my nose. I'm going to bring this up by the brow underneath the lower lip. And then I think for the cheek contour, I'm going to use the butt of the sponge. Get a little bit of product on there and pounce. Pounce it up. This is a lightweight wax-based product. It's waterproof, buildable. It has some good ingredients. It's like infused with vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, licorice root extract, jojoba oil, I think. Well, I don't know if it's oil or seed or I don't remember, but something good for the skin. Look how natural that is. I love it. I love it. What a great recommendation. The Smith 103. This is a really cool, larger, flat, yet fluffy type of brush. I thought it would be perfect with highlighting. So I'm going to use a little bit of powder around the nose, my Charlotte Tilbury as always. But I don't want a whole lot because my skin is kind of dry. I also got to see Jordan Liberty while I was there. I got to look at some Danessa Myricks products. I was so, so tempted to get myself some of her products, but you guys know I've been really good about not buying. So I'm gonna go back into the Vizier Grand Pro and use the shade that I used for the inner corner highlight on the cheeks. Very, very lightly take that. I so wanted to get the Viseart blush palette that the artist used on me as well. That's definitely a wish list. I've been wanting that for years actually. She used like a apricot shade on me. Look how pretty. That makes for a beautiful highlight. You guys, I've been sitting here forever just playing with my new products. I need to get going. I'm actually going somewhere, so I need to like get my stuff together. Finally, a lip. So for lips, I don't know. I've been so dry. I'm tempted to do Dale. Let's see how it looks. So this is NARS Audacious Dale. You guys know I love my cool tones. I'm pulling out my MAC Fix Plus Pink Light. This one you really have to make sure it's mixed. You know, I look so pale. I feel like I need blush. Also, I don't mind giving myself a little bit of a lip topper. So, for blush, I, I'm thinking this one for blush. And blend it out with my sponge. Spongibles. For lips, maybe just a little bit more vibrancy, so I'm going to go into the sky with my finger and lightly dab. So this is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed getting ready with me as I tried out some brand new products from the makeup show. I love you lots and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.